There are dozens of innovation awards and ranking lists out there, but they all focus on the wrong things. The typical award celebrates Richard Branson or Steve Jobs or some famous person. They suggest that that person had brilliant foresight in coming up with some brand new business or product that nobody else had ever thought of. And it suggests that the whole process was seamless and perfectly executed. Real innovation doesn't happen like that. Real innovation is messy. It involves a lot of serendipity, a lot of random discovery. It involves people often slaving away for, for months, if not years, trying out, putting prototypes together until eventually they come up with something that works. Very often, the person or company that comes up with a new idea in the first place isn't the one that actually makes money out of it. For all these reasons, we are announcing today the Real Innovation Awards. And that's a new award scheme which is an attempt to try to capture the messy realities that I've just described. There will be seven categories of award winners, and I'm just going to introduce three of those categories now. The first is what we call the Before It's Time Award. This is for innovations which are brilliant, but for whatever reason, the market just isn't quite ready for them yet. So, for example, the Segway, which many of you might have tried out at an, at an airport or in a park or whatever. This was designed as a mass production, mass volume method of getting around towns. I would argue that it's a great idea, but its time has yet to come. The second is what we can call the Unreasonable Person Award in honour of George Bernard Shaw, who said essentially that the unreasonable person is the person who tries to adapt the world to himself rather than the other way around. So Steve Jobs would be a suitable winner for that award with his reality distortion field, as it was sometimes called, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, James Dyson, who of course famously did something like 5,000 prototypes before finally coming up with a bagless vacuum cleaner, which of course is now a big success. You know, you have to be a little bit unreasonable to do that. The third category is what we're going to call the Eat Your Own Lunch Award. This is for a company or an individual who aggressively cannibalizes an existing product or service in order to continue to stay with the world as it moves on. So a classic example would be Netflix, who very famously killed off their business in sending DVDs through the mail by aggressively building the video on demand business that, of course, they're now famous for. There were four other categories as well. The point is, with all of these categories, we can identify a few well-known examples, as I have done, but there are many, many more examples which are not so well-known. The purpose of these awards is to celebrate those less-known stories, to try to give them a little bit of prominence. And so what we're going to ask you to do over the coming months, if you're, if you're up for it, is to, to nominate some people. Nominate yourself, nominate your friends, nominate companies that you've read about or heard about. We're going to provide you with a link at the bottom of this video so that you can make those nominations yourself. The idea is that over the next couple of months, we're going to collect up hundreds, if not thousands, of these nominations. And then we will have a judging panel to decide the ultimate winners in each category. And we will have an award ceremony in London. So I encourage you to get involved. Suggest people who you think would be worthy winners. And hopefully through this process, we can really start to celebrate and understand better the real messy process of innovation.